Hi, this is Steve, and in this video, I'll go over the sales journal. The sales journal is a special journal that is used to aggregate sales information. When a sale occurs, it's posted to the sales journal. Then later, it's posted from the sales journal to the individual accounts in the subsidiary ledger. At the end of the month, the total of the sales posted to the sales journal and the subsidiary ledgers are then posted to the general ledger. So let's load the sales journal lab on crown101.com and generate an exercise. We're given a sales journal and have to post the sales to the subsidiary ledger and the general ledger. The first step is to post the sales to the subsidiary ledger. We create an accounts receivable account for each customer and debit each of them the sum of the company's sales for that month. This will simplify the general ledger. The next step is to post a summary of the sales from the subsidiary ledger to the general ledger at the end of the month. We take the sum of the sales for the month and debit the accounts receivable account for that value. Then we credit the sales expense account for the total sales to balance out the accounting equation. You'll also wanna go back and reverse any subsidiary ledger entries made for the sales during that month after the value has been posted to the general ledger. This will eliminate double counting sales.